and everyone is going to be focused on the weather. Come Eclipse Day, we've been talking all afternoon about this, Matt, yeah. how the good news is that it's not going to be raining that day no, so far. Not at all. Yes, we're good there. Yeah, now it's just about how many clouds we have. Exactly. We don't think there are going to be too many clouds, but we're not completely rid of clouds. So that's where it kind of gets tricky with the forecast. We've yeah. got our forecast, but we also have a forecast across the country because Karen, I want to show you how Indiana may be one of the best states to see the total solar eclipse. Let's start off with this weekend though. Boy, it's going to feel a lot better. Today we were capped in the 40s. We had the clouds. We had those on and off showers. It's been the same thing day after day, but we finally have pushed most of those clouds out of here. Tomorrow we'll warm up to the mid 50s. That's going to feel a lot better. You got the sun on your face even better. Uh, north winds will pretty much go away. We'll be very calm, but in the morning we've got that freeze. There could also be some patchy frost and also some patchy fog in the morning. If you have some, don't worry, it won't last very long. We'll get the sun out. It should be a nice Saturday. Or, and then for Sunday, different story. Warm front lifts through, which warms us up, which is nice. But as it's coming on through, there could be some scattered rain and a few rumbles of thunder across central Indiana. But for your Saturday, no rain or storms, just a lot of sunshine. Highs will top out in the mid 50s, pretty much area wide. Then we get to Sunday with that warm front. A level one severe risk is in place for a couple isolated storms. I want to walk you through what we're thinking on Sunday in the morning when you're waking up, headed out the door. Maybe you got service. Maybe you got breakfast with the family. We'll start off dry clouds increasing later into the morning, closer to lunchtime. There will be a couple light showers here and there, maybe a quick rumble of thunder later into the afternoon. But once the actual warm front starts coming on through, that's just right here. We could get a couple downpours and maybe even a severe storm or two pressing on through. This would be close to or just after sunset. Sunday evening, but the big thing is we can get this out of here by midnight. We should be good for the eclipse. We probably will still start off with some clouds for your eclipse morning temperatures in the 40s, but by lunchtime, just a couple hours before totality we will be in the 60s and will be mostly clear. You should be able to see that eclipse. Granted, there could be a couple high thin Sears clouds passing on by, but even those you should be able to still see through maybe a little bit more veiled. We'll have to see, but overall not bad temperatures in the 70s. And when you take a look at the whole country, you want to look for these green bands or blue bands. Blue bands are completely clear. We're not completely clear, but we're in a green band. We've got good weather here at home, so a lot of folks may be coming here closer to central Indiana. Here's a closer view at our state. I think the best chance for clearer skies will be north and west of Indianapolis. Here's your seven day forecast. We uh, sandwich the eclipse right in between two storm systems. Watch out for some scattered storm Sunday and a big soaker Karen in the middle of the week.